Hi everyone, it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation, and today I'm mixing things up, uh, literally speaking, <laughs> so stay tuned and see what I'm talking about. Those of you who know me by now uh, know that I like to experience a little uh, find new ways to do things, uh, mm, find new techniques and I don't really like sticking to one sort of way of creating art journalings uh, or other projects for that matter. I like to spice things up a little bit and this time um, that's my stamping. <laughs> I use a little bit uh, black dress, um, it's paper artsy chalk acrylic paint and I'm using uh, just the things uh, which I have uh, lying around my desk. Uh, this is, I'm not sure what that is, I, some part of packaging obviously, but I don't know where it came from, but I really like the fact that first of all it was circular, second of all it had line inside. <laughs> so I said to myself I'm gonna keep it, even though it's very kind of not sturdy enough, but for this type of project it works very well. Uh, I am adding the uh, paint with the brush, but then I kind of changed my mind, as you can see now, <laughs> and I can uh, really add it, you know, just by dipping it into the paint, but the reason for adding with the brush was just to kind of not uh, cover all the lines. I wanted to have some lines which are not covered in the paint, so like that they are kind of broken, like you see in the biggest circle. Now I am using a cup from a spray, and just working like that. This is a great idea. First of all, it looks very nice. Uh, it looks like stamping almost. It has a little bit of crunch in it, which I love. And then, you know, for those of you who cannot afford to buy a lot of stamps, who don't have some stamps, you know, just use some imagination, some packaging, basically some things which are lying around. With black paint, for example, you're gonna make a really nice project after ingeniously, really, <laughs> using the uh, uh, end of the uh, pencil and now I'm using the end of the brush to get a little bit of more dots uh, like that at least my dots are, you know, very circular uh, later I'm gonna do, of course, my splatter you know, this is just, you know, almost a must for most of my projects, if not all uh, but those uh, dots are more prominent, they are in black, they look a little bit like stamping and they are very round, which is cool. Uh, of course I'm reusing a little bit of uh, the paint which uh, stayed. Uh, I am not sure why, but I kind of don't like... Um, I don't like wasting paint, but at the same time I don't like to, you know, just uh, putting it on other paper and just uh, hope that one day I'm gonna do something with it. Because I usually do videos and later I'm losing the part of the video where I actually made the colors on the page and it's just compli complicated. So <laughs> that's why I don't really like to do it, but then again I don't like wasting pa paint, so the best option is to <laughs> add some splatter. And now I'm using my stamp from the construction set and I'm using a stamping platform because I think this particular uh, part of this uh, set I haven't used before and it's very sticky and uh, when it's sticky like that, when it's brand new stamp you actually should use the stamping platform because otherwise it's not gonna uh, print nicely after a while it will, uh, the stickiness will go away and then uh, you know it's gonna uh, stamp well but for now I prefer to use a stamping platform and of course um, talking about stickiness I'm not talking about the side which is actually sticking to the acrylic bro uh, block of, or the platform but I'm talking about the side which you actually stamp uh, on or add the ink on <laughs> so um, I'm using I think for this project two inks both are permanent, archival and stay zone uh, they are for me, they are both super cool, uh, so you know, I uh, interchange them, I don't know if that's a good word, but you know, I'm just using them both. Uh, depends which one is closer to my hand, basically. Uh, what I love about uh, archival ink is the fact that it actually has just one cover, so you know, you open it and you can put the stamp on and stamp away. Uh, 
while the um, stays on has actually a small kind of plastic cover uh, inside and very often when I don't think too much you know I just do it uh, very impulsively I just put the stamp onto the cover then I realize there is a cover and I have to take it out uh, it's not a big deal at all but you know it's just some of uh, us maybe prefer or some of you prefer using something which is just simpler to use but then again stays on smells beautifully like almonds <laughs> So I'm always cracking for this one because at least there is this smell which is super cool. Since I have already stamping platform open, I'm using it for other uh, stamps also. I used uh, Shoe and Fleur and uh, Lesha's Garda uh, stamps also with the small bag uh, which you can see on the left hand side. And now I'm using Paper Archie uh, trees. And you're gonna find the full list of products in the description box uh, under the video. And I decided to use uh, only a partial print of the uh, uh, of the trees. I'm mixing up French and English words, so I'm sorry about that. And um, right now I'm working with stays on ink, for example. So you know, uh, what else I wanted to tell you? Uh, ah, you know, uh, I actually love this uh, type of page like that. You know, I seen them on Pinterest, but. I've seen uh, people doing beautiful things on Pinterest, uh, which are kind of, you know, long, vertical, and um, usually anyway. And I don't know if they are not actually projects for tattoos and they have a lot of small uh, images, different images. So I said, oh, I'm gonna go for that, a little bit of trees, a bag, and circles. <laughs> uh, completely like maybe out of order, but uh, kind of nature connected, so I like it. And so now I am mixing the things up, literally, as I said uh, before. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding to my all-time favorite mixed media paste from Stampiria uh, a little bit of infusion powder from Paper Artsy. And I'm using my uh, one of my newest stencils, a peculi peculiar kind of rainbow. And... Uh, Two things to know. Infusions are uh, the pigments or, or the powders with the pigment, uh, walnut pigment. So when you dilute them with water or spray water on them, they're gonna have the, um, you know, this walnut kind of shade in them or tone. Uh, and it looks lovely. I really love it. But here we go. Even though they have this walnut pigment, if you add it to the paste, like I just did, you're gonna get just one color beautiful and later you're gonna see I'm gonna be using the same color just like that just right now uh, to just add some splatter and it looks completely different and I absolutely love it I also didn't want to put the whole stencil uh, on the page because uh, the stencil is uh, for this page part in particular it was too long for me I just wanted to really kind of stick to the uh, big circle and just uh, add a little bit of relief um, outside of it but not too much and so now I'm using the same color so look guys at that it's just amazing no and this is the second color I'm gonna use from infusions it's called violetta and really you don't need to add too much of it and uh, it's amazing how versatile they are uh, because with one color you can actually uh, get three colors uh, first of all uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, I add a little bit of powder on the palette then I add water to it and I actually got a color uh, which is purple so you don't see really this um, walnut stain the um, brown stain but if you instead take the powder, just uh, sprinkle it over the page and then spray it with water, you're gonna see uh, the uh, walnut stain, so you're gonna see the uh, brown uh, shade, I'm not sure if it's a good word, but you're gonna see the brown uh, coming through. And then once again, if you mix it with some modeling paste, you're gonna get the color which is uh, much clearer uh, because of course the uh, pastes are, uh, well, in general they are white, but uh, you know, you wouldn't do it with the paste which is black, uh, you would uh, add the color to the white one. 
so like that you're gonna get a color which is completely different also and this is really great because first of all it saves you money and this is how it looks like and uh, then you know it gives you a lot of other options you know so you can really with not that much uh, make a lot of different things and that I love very much because I remember on my beginnings uh, when I couldn't afford uh, things, you know, couldn't afford products and uh, I know how hard it can be. Uh, so I did a small uh, frames with my uh, pen, permanent pen, it's a uni pin uh, pen. And now I'm using uh, Rabons from Tim Holtz. So I'm adding a little bit of uh, numbers. Thank you so much for subscribing <laughs> and uh, yes they actually uh, at the very beginning I couldn't manage to um, take them um, to actually glue them well to the page it took me so much time I don't know if with time with the fact that they are quite old they are sticking uh, or adhering to the page uh, better but now or maybe I just uh, mastered the technique and uh, you know I don't have to put too much effort uh, for the uh, rabons to actually stick to the page and I love them uh, that's the actually last pieces of these uh, rabons I have at home uh, but they are so cool because they are numbers and I love numbers so uh, numbers and uh, you know and um, alphabet so that would be letters <laughs> And I add a little bit of uh, sentiment to finish the page off from my uh, really silly words. Uh, this is it. I love it. It's not very colorful, but I still like it. It's something different. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I appreciate every single comment uh, I get from you. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, for watching. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye bye!